Okay, I don't know how far we'll get with this. <coughs> but I want to see what is in the mind of the diva of the South. What is going on with Lindsay at the heart of things. So let's see if we see what's above it. <coughs> what's going on with Lindsay at the heart of everything. Protection. Protecting. Protecting, um, <clears throat> protecting who and what he is, okay? The woke, the reality. By wearing a mask, trying to protect the reality. I don't think he wants people to wake up to what he is. It's a protection mechanism. Um, <clears throat> maybe he doesn't want to fully accept himself. He needs to protect something. So why is he afraid of himself? Why is he afraid of his own Maybe he was raised in an uber-religious, skewed identity, okay? Maybe that's what's going on. But let's see, I think I'll use the Kipper deck as well just to see if we get something here with what's going on with the Diva of the South, the Orange Queen. Okay, going into it, we have work, toil, and labor, what he's working at, woman, okay, yeah. Like I said, you know, his consciousness, his thing is feminine trying to temper things, trying to balance, uh, thinking this, he's trying to control it, okay? But he is what he is. Now, when I see temperance in this case, it's like he thinks he's going to suppress it. He thinks that he's going to, but it's there. It's there, and it's a driving force underneath of it. <clears throat> I don't see this as temperance in a good balanced way. I see it as an attempt to repress, okay, works to repress the woman that he is within, okay, the concern. So now there is the big concern. Let's see what the concern is. The concern is about men. Above it. That this is somehow going to uh, repress him. So that's the message that comes out. <clears throat> if you're a woman, you lose power, okay? So the concern is if he actually comes out fully with who he is, that perhaps he'll be repressed, he will be, you know, um, yeah. At the center of it, we have poverty feeling impoverished, lacking when it comes to his path. So he doesn't feel it looks like he would have opportunity if he came out fully with who he is to celebrate that. He can't celebrate it. He can't 
he's holding holding on to the poverty of the path and this judgment feeling of judgment feeling of um being lesser than and that's sad okay the challenge is ending the death the ending the challenge of what manhood <clears throat> Okay, above it, with the way forward, trying to find a way to go forward in the world and rapidly that this would put an end to him, that men would put an end to him. I think he's in fear of his career, that if he came out fully, that they would end his career Clarification is the house where he lives underneath feeling imprisoned. Not a surprise. Let's see where he lives. Fishtails, the lies. Um, you know, this is where he gets his money from, but it's also the lie that he carries. above it when it comes to coming out um, and speaking truth because underneath of it um, what what's coming he doesn't like it he can't deal so let's see what we have underneath of it that's a sad tale okay a very sad tale He's run by all these emotions and all these dramas. He's got one major arcana under that, and that is trying to temper things, trying to Yeah, so it says his work as a woman, being a woman, being who he is. The concern is about the men that surround him, okay? And the poverty of a path for him to be able to do that, be who he is. So the challenge is men ending, coffin, killing who he is, where he lives. So he has to keep up these fish tales, these lies, these fake appearances. Sad. Underneath of it, we have the Pandora's box of this, keeping the lid on things and having to work with others behind the scenes in a not really progressive way. Worried about the investigation, looking, I think, into his own being and endings and that it would arise in judgment, okay? by people, men in power, as to his ability for long-term success and being accepted as a family. So he continues to try to get away with this, okay? Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot more stuff underneath driving than there is showing in his present what's easily seen underneath the driving forces investigations and putting those he doesn't want to really look deeper because he wants to end judgment he doesn't want them to but anybody seeing him i mean knows that he's gay and he's fooling himself so let's break it down again. We have the major arcana that's fueling this, is tempering, trying to balance one foot here, one foot there, okay? Uh, as far as his opportunity 
his message and he's trying to hang on okay trying to just hang hang on um there's a poverty of path so he can't celebrate who he is and where he lives in this illusion he's not happy with it okay He's not happy with the illusion he's having to live, but it feels like he feels like he doesn't have a choice because <clears throat> when it comes to his toil and labor as a woman, okay, that mentality, um, he sees that this comes with a, uh, a sword, that there are those that would men concerned about that that would try to repress him okay from speaking out from living that truth that would be repressed because the main again the main um, fear mode the main challenge is men ending his ability to go forward and move as a person he would want to be underneath it all, if he got real with himself, okay? So this is a sad reading. This is somebody who is driven by one thing and has to really work hard to repress it, to try to present himself as something other. And it looks like he clings to these men that he thinks are stronger in order to avoid having them come against him. Okay? Because he's ruled by fear mode. He's ruled by fear. Okay? Of being not only a gay man, but somebody that um, is really, uh, I think, really within of a feminine persuasion, and he has to continually try to dampen that down to um, be in denial of it, if you will. But behind the scenes, He's driven by it. So this is somebody in a lot of conflict in their lives. Uh, very sad. That's a sad life to have to live, to try to uh, present yourself as something other than what you would want to be because you are so concerned by um, repression. Okay? So I just feel sorry for Lindsay, okay? I did, he feels like if he actually came out to, as to being who and what he feels on the inside, this would be the end of his career. Maybe he's also worried it would be the end of his life if he actually came out as, because from this reading, it looks like he could be even you know, mentally feeling out like transgender, okay? But that has to be so repressed and hidden that, uh, but it breaks through in like leather bar type of mentality and things and looking for some strong man that he can cling to, that can be more of a protector rather than an abuser. But it almost feels like kind of that Stockholm Syndrome where you are um, defending your abusers, okay? So, yeah, a sad, sad reading, actually, for what is the consciousness of Lindsay Graham. Thanks for tuning in.